also only the second time today that one of our matches has been over in two straight games. Seven previous matches. And our last match coming up is men's singles, and it's the Asian Games gold medalist Jonathan Christie against the semi finalist from last year here at the Denmark Open, Wong Wing Ki of Hong Kong. Well, for Wong Wing Ki, He's always enjoyed this tournament. This is his ninth consecutive appearance here at the Denmark Open. And here is the Asian Games gold medalist, Jonathan Christie. What a sensation it was winning that gold medal on home soil in his Dora Sanayan in Jakarta, beating Chao Tian Chen in three games in the final. So here is Wong Wing Ki. Not only a semi-finalist last year, he's three times been a quarter-finalist. And it was here that he had one of his best wins ever. That was back in 2011 when he beat Lin Dan in the second round. So it's always been, I think, one of Wong Wing Ki's favourite tournaments. Well, the last time these two met was in the quarter-final of the Asian Games. And, of course, with this man going on to take the gold medal, obviously won on that occasion. It was two straight games. But this is the fourth meeting in total. As you can see, Jonathan Christie has won two of the previous three. Your Hupers, Hupers from Germany, is... Oh, I'm proud for this. Jan Andersson from Sweden will be the service judge. 28 years of age now. Wong Wing Ki, who was actually born Wong Shu Ki. At age 17, changed his name to Shu in Chinese means loser. Jonathan Christie turned 21 last month, born in Jakarta. And he's two places down on the world ranking from his career high of 11. Making his second consecutive appearance here at the Denmark Open last year, he lost in the second round to Rajiv Usif of England in three games. So to the man that obviously loves this tournament, Swan Wing Ki. Born in Hong Kong, has been as high as 10 one week from the 25th of May last year. Being a quarter finalist at World Championships, that was last year when he lost out to Lin Dan, who went on to reach the final, having beaten Xi Yu Chi in the round of last 16. Well, Jonathan Christie. And teammate Anthony Ginting, the new stars of Indonesian men's singles. And when we look at the history of Indonesian players here at the Denmark Open, as we look at our court officials, four different men's singles players from Indonesia have won six men's singles title here at this particular event. Rudy Hartono won three. Liam Sui King won one. Hermann Susanto in 1991 and Simon Santoso nine years ago won the title. Beating Mark Schwebler in the final, really. seem to recall. Gentlemen, on my right, Wong Wing Ki, Wilson, Hong Kong, China. And on my left, Jonathan Christie, 
Indonesia. One more key, Winston to serve. Lavo, play. So one wing key of Hong Kong getting this first round match underway against the Asian Games gold medalist Jonathan Christie. One love. see already in the first couple of rallies that Jonathan Christie One. is oh. a wonderful mover around the court. Very powerful legs, very smooth mover. And powerful overhead shots too. No, even with over. his power, can't do anything about that net court. One. That's nicely done. Four, one. Well, there's obviously been an injury problem with Wong Wing Key earlier this year. Three times in international tournament competition so far this year. He's retired part way through a match. Service over. Twelve Two, individual four. tournaments so far. And the best he's done was that quarter-final at the Asian Games, the last time these two players met. Big summer. wins for this man. Five. Uh, at three. Major Games, the Southeast Asian Games. Played in Kuala Lumpur last year. Won gold, beating Petra Dub in the final. And then, of course, the Asian Games gold medal this year. Service over. Four, five. Fans are in this afternoon. Oh, lovely badminton in Indonesia. Oh, that's landed in. Service over. Six, five. Semi-final last year, Wong Wing Key. 
Okay, Moni, the second men's singles player from his country, from Hong Kong, to reach the semi-final here at this event. The other one being Hu Yun in 2010. Hu Yun losing that semi-final to Janor Jorgensen, who went on to win the title. Service over. Seven. Oh. First time that Jonathan Christie has been in the lead. Play. Yeah, nice return. Service over. Eight. Oh. Steepness. Really lethal combination. Look at this. Fabulous smash. Oh, well, strings are gone. There's no hope of controlling that final Nine. kill. That's when the string went. It's always shown a lot of promise, I have to say, over the years that I've been watching him, and considering he's only just turned 21. Beaten four former world number ones, Lee Hyunil, Lin Dan, he's beaten Lin Dan twice, incidentally. Beaten Shrikant Kadambi twice and also Son Wan Ho. So four different former world number ones being beaten by Jonathan Christie by the age of 20. That's pretty impressive. It's shown to me since two points. Review in progress. Mm. I can still go on, but uh, it's some, someone had to fix it, I think. Yes. Okay, thanks. Yeah. There's a problem with the Hawkeye little screen in front of our rump up. It says review in progress. Pushing and probing their opponent to all four corners of the court. Yes, there's the Indonesian fans. Might not be many of them, but they're certainly making their presence felt. Yeah, that's a nice. Fast drop shot there from Wong Wing Ki. And he has the one point advantage here at the mid game interval in the opening game. Jo, satu. Tempunya, gak boleh ngikutin banget. Ngerti ya? 
Jonathan harus lebih cepat dan dari setengah depannya kalau Jonathan udah udah kamu kontrol gitu sentak kamu langsung maju aja ke depan dikit karena apa bilang dia pasti ngeblok ah Jonathan tinggal tarok atau kamu sentak lagi aja ya tapi harus berani pukul banyaknya nah, kamu bukan nggak boleh nanti kayak nembak dari sana ke situ tapi empat meternya harus ini yang penting kencang ke depan ayo nggak ada bahayanya kok dia jo ya kayak latihan aja dong ayo salah satu terlalu ini terus Kalau Yeah, that's landed in. That's the super drop shot. Good racket head control. Very easy from that round the head position to drag that drop shot wide of the sideline. Doubly so when you consider the sideways drift in this arena. the short left by the quality of the tight spinning net shot. 
Not only well taken, but very well placed. And that's far too late to be taking a shot at the back of the court from Wong Winky. Gave it a bit of height so that it came down very, very close to the net. That's a nice net shot. Very well taken from Wong Wing Key. Very fast forward. Yeah. And finds the line as well. Four straight points. Five straight points. Well, I told you he liked playing in Denmark. Don't believe that. That's what you call a, a lucky net cord. Take a look at this. This sat on the top of the tape, looked as if it was falling back his own side, and then went over. Game point opportunities on a run of six straight points. Previous point with the shuttle on the top of the net was absolutely extraordinary. Disappointing way for opening game to end. 21-17. In favour of last year's semi-finalist Wong Wing Ki of Hong Kong. 18 minutes for that opening game. Sebab dari apa? Dari setengah depan udah udah tahu kamu harus pegang dulu. Set set ada satunya. Kamu angkat boleh, tapi jangan silang terus tuh. Jadi dia kalau udah gini, dia udah nungguin gini Jo. Nah, kalau kamu larikan sininya dulu, dia nggak enak. Nah, rusak posisi aja dulu. Tapi Jonathan harus lebih cepat tempunya. Dan kamu lompatnya itu bukan nggak boleh nyemes, nyemes tapi 4 meter kencang. Tapi sambungannya ke depan. Biru sama kuningnya juga kok, kuaran juga tuh lagi lompat. Jadi kayak, kayak main main enjoy gitu, ya. Ayo teriak aja lagi. Set kedua, set ketiganya ya. Ayo, bisa. 
什么成功呢？他这样子，他平平的这样推你，完了以后你攻他。像这种球正手，你可以抓他，特别是你给他比较长的长的时候啊，过白线你给他球，完了你就可以抓他一些，那样你的球比较有威胁。他没跟你抢嘛，没跟你打往前，他基本上两边顶，这个你成功。还有你要看他什么球。正手杀直线，头顶的球路就是正手杀直线，头顶杀对。头顶，头顶它有直线，但是它要有时间的话，对，它。对，基本上正手基本上没有什么，我觉得它的正手你看的比较舒服一点。对。完了，它反手。It's over. One love. Service over. Yeah, court will need to be mopped. Well. Oh. Off the dive there from Wong Wing Ki. Very musical as well as a, a very good badminton player. Man from Hong Kong. Very good piano player. Thank you. Good smash, aiming towards the right hip, slightly across the body. Physically grueling rally. Just wide. And I think there's Four. one or two little signs that Wong Wing Key is beginning to feel a little fatigued. Yeah, it was a sidelining question, that was definitely out. A short lift forced by the net shot.
five, four. Plum on the line. little shake of the head and I think that's a little bit concerning if you're a Hong Kong fan. I said a moment ago I thought he was beginning to feel the pace of this match. And it's little errors like that. Maybe even trying to go for the win up too early on in the rally when you've not got your opponent out of position and just missing that belief you've got to play a winner because you don't want to play on in the rally that's what happens when you're tired Guess right. Uh, very good guess by Wong Wing Key. Seven, four. Didn't know which way the smash was coming, but he thought because the lift was so short, he'd have to guess. And there, down his backhand side, made the right choice. I'd like to see this man taking a little more initiative in the rallies. It's a couple of times he's left a shot on the back line and it's landed plumb on that line. Yeah, like that. I think so far, Jonathan Christie has been a little bit too reactive and not enough proactive. Games gold medalist. Longest rally of this second game.
Oh, my goodness. You can't decide that late to try and play it. You might as well leave it. Ten, nine. Too short a game from Jonathan Christie. Got what it deserved. Line judge. Just brushed it off the top of the tape. After the indecision at the back of the court. Look at that. Wonderful. And the one point advantage at the mid game interval is in favour of Jonathan Christie. Jadi dari bola setengahnya jagain dan lagi tentunya jangan kamu diduluin jangan umpan jangan bukan nggak boleh tadi gitu tapi kalau udah kedesak gini gimana? So ready to resume play, just one point in it. Second wind. Oh. One wing key. It's often that players can go through a bit of a a bad patch within a match. Physically. Line judge. Line judge. Now, as long as they can revive their physical stamina. All well and good. That's a clever shot. Twelve. Hello. I'm absolutely convinced Jonathan Christie needs to start dictating and commanding the rallies a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Just like that. Take the initiative.
Yeah, and again. Well played. 13. Well. There's no doubt Jonathan Christie has already secure, secured his fame and fortune in his home country, winning that Asian Games gold medal, coupled with his film star good looks. That's ah, well taken. That's better. Credit to Wong Wing Key because I thought he was struggling physically at one stage. He's looking good again now. be nearing the longest rally of the match. Yeah, his strings have completely gone. Wrong wing key. 50, 60. In fact, he almost, well, he did have time to look at his racket. Now, that's not going to work very well, is it? Well, I wonder how long that rally was. Yes, it was the longest rally of the match so far. In fact, I'm not convinced that Wong Wing Key didn't touch the net with his follow through on that attempted lift. That's gone long. So it's fluctuating fortunes. Yeah. Whenever 
whenever he takes a bit of initiative, Jonathan Christie looks very, very impressive. Look at that. Four straight points for a two-point advantage. straight points. 17. Well, may have missed, but 17. I like 19. the idea. Because it's not often we've seen him go for winners from the back of the court. That's what I was expecting from the start of the match from Christie. He's got a very explosive movement back in court and able to thunder down those smashes. And he's got two game point opportunities now to send this to a decider. Only needed the one. 21-18, second game. 43 minutes into the match, and it's one game all. Yes, the game point opportunity. Miss it from Wang Wen Ki. <音>对你那时候应该 Kadang-kadang so third and deciding game. Bravo. Play. Service Got to think about the drift. One left. That right to left drift. As we look, look down on the court right now. Two, 
I think the start to this deciding game could be very, very important. And I think if Jonathan Christie really gets on top of one wing key, I think it will all be over fairly quickly. Service over. Three, all. a missed opportunity yeah and even Jonathan Christie Five, four. knows he was lucky to get away with that look how short that lift is yeah look of anguish short again. I do like the way that one wing key gives his little blocks or net shots a little bit of height. Bring the shuttle down so tight to the net. Look at that one. Court. Steep smash. Yeah, I think says one wing key.
Thank you. Well, that's quite a rest both of them have had. Well, the court was mopped. thought Christie was there's another one of those net shots where he gives it a little bit of height getting it close to the net on wing king I thought that Jonathan Christie really upped the pace of that last rally and I think he's as capable of doing that a lot more often Challenge of this match. Yeah. Clearly out. Correction out. Eight six. What's he saying to himself two, three times? Nine, six. Yeah, you got to learn. Jonathan Christie, with those powerful legs, can pounce from behind the service line there to make the kill. Four straight points. Five straight points. Six straight points from 5 6 to 11 6 in the change of ends. Jonathan Christie looking good at the moment. Mm. Sekali Habis itu baru belokin. Oke, okay. okay, ayo. Well, can Jonathan Christie carry this momentum forward? Six straight points before the change of ends. On the other hand, can Wong Wing Key break this run of points and get himself right back in this deciding game? Oh, that's a terrific smash. Why on earth wasn't he doing that earlier? He's got such a good attack, has Christie.
Yeah. Good contract. Seven silver. Seven. Twelve. Tight spinning. Net shot 30. on the return of serve. Vicious tumble on that. Yeah. Yeah, strings disintegrated again. Tells the story. Attacking play was just not present in the opening game from Christie. Just over, did it? Service over. Just wide. Match clock ticks over the hour mark. And one wing key, still five points adrift. I see it from Jonathan Christie's point of view. He's used so much energy being reactive for such long periods of this match that now when he's trying to attack, he's a little fatigued and therefore is missing with his attacking play. I can remember watching him playing against Chen Long in the semi-final of the Malaysian Super Series two years ago. And he was a game, and 16-11 up, 18-14 up, 
somehow contrived to lose it. But to get to that winning position, Jonathan Christie was playing so quickly. Pace of movement and pace of shot. And I think against Chen Long in that semi-final two years ago in Malaysia, I think he just uh, sort of hit a metaphoric brick wall. He just got too tired. But we haven't seen any of that explosive play and really attacking play for any real length of time throughout this first round encounter. This is far from over, you know. Let. the sort of explosive attacking play that I would like to see a lot more of from Jonathan Christie. And that goes well long and just two points away from booking his place in the second round. Smash from one wing key. 30, yeah. Oh, my word, that's superb. Well, no doubt he is capable. Of these wonderful attacking shots. Look at that. You cannot tell which way it's going. Perfection. And with it comes seven match point opportunities. One will do. 21 13 in the deciding game. And our and five minutes and the Asian Games gold medalist Jonathan Christie safely through to the second round where he will play against either the number three seed Shi Uchi or Samir Verba of India who are on the adjoining court as we speak in fact you can see them in the background there so this is the final rally And for Jonathan Christie, the moment of victory. Worked hard. And he's beaten last year's semi-finalist Wong Wing Key of Hong Kong in three games. Their confirmation of the score. And uh, with that victory, it concludes our eight matches for today here from Audenza. More first round action tomorrow, same time as today. That's 9 a.m. local time, 0700 GMT. So as they take leave of the court, so do we. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.
Oh. Uh -huh. 